in the scriptures, the importance of effort is um, is really driven home as being very important. This is because what they don't want is for people to say, you are Brahman, you are the absolute, so you can do what you like. And that's that. You know, what we're now call a neo advice teaching is really drummed into the scriptural teaching, the importance of effort. Fran, I can see you've got your book. I think you've got the same book as me. It's page 256. I'm going to read from in a second um, if you want to follow. If, if, if anyone's got this book as well. Um, 256. Um, and there's this, it says, it's got V43, 543 on the side. Can you see that, Fran? Yeah. So I'm going to start reading from there in a second. So they say that the effort is really important. It's important to make your own effort. Otherwise, you will not attain liberation if you don't make effort. But at the same time, the texts always say it's God's grace that leads to liberation. And God's grace isn't something you can make effort to attain. It's God's grace. So there can be this conflict. And this comes up in this part of, in, this, in the same chapter about Prahlada. So Yoga Vashistha, if you remember, is a, is a story, it's a dialogue between Rama and Vashistha, Lord Rama, who's been taught by Sage Vashistha. And when we heard about Prahlada earlier in the chapter, Vashistha was teaching Rama about the story of Prahlada. So now Vashistha has finished the story, telling, telling Rama the story, and Rama's asking Vashistha about the story. So Rama is now saying, Rama asked, Holy Sir, you said that Prahlada attained enlightenment by the grace of Lord Vishnu. If everything is achieved by self-effort, why was he not able to attain enlightenment without Vishnu's grace? So earlier in the chapter, Vashistha is saying everything is attained by self-effort. You make the effort, you become liberated. You don't make the effort, you won't become liberated. So he's saying, what's this about the grace of Vishnu now? And Vashistha has to sort of uphold the teaching. So he says, surely, Vashistha replied, surely whatever Prahlada attained was, was through self-effort, O Rama, not otherwise. But then, Vish, then Vashistha goes on to give the deeper teaching. Vishnu is the self, and the self is Vishnu. The distinction is verbal. It was the self of Prahlada that generated in itself devotion to Vishnu. Prahlada obtained from Vishnu, who was his own self, the boon of self-inquiry. And through such inquiry attained self-knowledge. <laughs> So what Vishistha is saying is that Vishnu and the self are one. Prahlada attained the boon of self-inquiry, which is the gift of, because remember um, Vishnu said to Prahlada, um, I will grant you the, um, the means to do self-inquiry and the desire to do self-inquiry. But that Vishnu was Prahlada's own self in the first place. So it's, it's like a circle. And then Vishistha goes on, at times one attains self-knowledge through self-inquiry, undertaken through self-effort. Um, so I'll say that again. At times one, one attains self-knowledge through self-inquiry, undertaken through self-effort. 
At times, this self-effort manifests as devotion to Vishnu, who is also the self, and thus one, and thus one attains enlightenment. So he's saying sometimes what will happen is that you will undergo great self-effort and then to do self-inquiry and then you will attain self-realization. Other times you will devote yourself to Vishnu, to God. And that's your self-effort. And that will lead you to liberation. The distinction is verbal. The key thing to remember is these are practical teachings, not philosophical teachings. They do break down at points. You will find a point where the teaching doesn't quite work, but to do them, to follow them, to listen to them. Shravana, Shravana, Shravana. Listen, listen, listen. Hear the teachings again and again and again. Let them go into you. And through repeated listening, all everything else follows. Shravana, Shravana, Shravana. Listen to the teachings. They'll go into you. You will then start to think about the teachings. And eventually you will start to turn within, meditate. And through this, you'll, there'll be a conviction will grow. I'm the self. Faith in the teachings will grow. Faith in the teacher. Faith in yourself. I'm the self. Before it might be, how can I be the self? What is this self? And then it'll be, I am the self. Ahambra Musmi will be a, a verbal expression of your deeper feeling intuition. This deeper feeling intuition, I am the self, is already there now. Remember, we all know this already. We all know we are the infinite, we are the divine. Remember, not the body-mind, but what you are knows this fully. Vashista replied, surely whatever Prahlada attained was through self-effort, O Rama, not otherwise. Vishnu is the self and the self is Vishnu. The distinction is verbal. It was the self of Prahlada that generated in itself devotion to Vishnu. Prahlada obtained from Vishnu, who was his own self, the boon of self-inquiry, and through such inquiry attained self-knowledge. At times, one attains self-knowledge through self-inquiry undertaken through self-effort. At times, this self-effort manifests as devotion to Vishnu, who is also the self, and thus one attains enlightenment. 